Hi everyone, welcome to Mr. Waggett's math class. Today, we will be writing equations in slope-intercept form. But for you to do that, let's review what a slope is. Slope, we refer to it to the letter M, and we always see this sign on the road for the truckers. It says 9% grade for the next one and a half miles. Why is this important to know? Because trucks cannot go fast on a steep slope. To find the slope, it's the vertical line divided by the horizontal line. So 9% means 9 feet fall for every 100 feet of run. So we really need to know what this means to avoid accidents. The slope shows the steepness of the line and the relationship between two quantities as a ratio. We call the slope, or we name the slope again, a rate of change because it shows the change in the ratio between the two quantities. For example, the relationship between the pounds of tomato and the cost per pound. Speed limit, 35, which means 35 miles per hour. So the word per means a slope or a rate of change. And if you buy packs of markers, also we say cost each pack shows the relationship between the cost and the number of packs of markers. Now the student-teacher ratio, and we write that as a ratio, 10 to 1, which means 10 students for every one teacher. So now to write equation in slope-intercept form, the first thing to do is to find the slope, which is m. As a reminder, it's called the rate of change. The slope measures the steepness of a line. So look at this graph. Let's see how we can find the slope first from a graph. To find the slope, it's the rise over run. So choose two dots on the line. And I chose the first blue one and the second blue one. Now go from negative 5, rise to negative 2. That is going up or increasing by 3. That is the rise. Now the run is the x-axis, which is going from the zero on the x to four, which is the run to get to the other point. So the rise is three and the run is four. That is the slope three over four. Let's say you forgot to do that. There's another way to do this, which is the change in y divided by the change of x. And the change means minus. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That shows the change in the y divided by the change of the x because the y is the vertical line and the x is the horizontal line. So let's name the first dot or coordinate 0, negative 5, x1, y1, and the second dot or the coordinate 4, negative 2 is x2, y2. So now I know which one is the first coordinate and which one is the second coordinate. Now substitute the numbers in the equation. Negative 2, which is y2, minus negative 5, divided by the x, 4 minus 0, simplify that, you get 3 over 4. Since we're writing equations in slope intercept form, we found the slope, now we need to find the intercept. What intercept we're talking about? It is the y intercept, and we have another letter for it, which is b, and another name, which is the starting value. So look at the graph, which is the same graph we had before, where the line crosses the y-axis, where did that red line cross the y-axis or intersect the y-axis? Right on negative 5. So the y-intercept equals negative 5 because intercepted the y-axis right on negative 5. Another way to do that is to know that the y-intercept is the value of y when x equals 0. So if I look at the graph, the coordinates for that y-intercept, or where the line crosses the y-axis, is 0, negative 5, where x is 0 and y is negative 5. So b is the value of y when x equals 0, therefore b equals negative 5. Now that we found the slope and the y-intercept, let's write the equation. Slope-intercept form, always the form is y equal mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. And we already know that the slope is 3 fourths and b is negative 5. So all you have to do, substitute m with 3 fourths 
and b with negative 5, you end up with y equals 3 fourths x plus negative 5. Or you can say y equal 3 fourths x minus 5. Write an equation of a line that passes through 0, negative 2, and 4, negative 2. Always the equation is y equal mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. To find the slope, write the equation because I can't use rise over run, I don't have the graph, so I'm using the change in y divided by the change of x, and we always start with the vertical line, which is the y. Now let's name the first coordinate x1, y1, the second coordinate x2, y2 for, for us to substitute in the equation. You end up with negative 2 minus negative 2 divided by 4 minus 0. Subtracting a negative is adding, so negative 2 plus 2 is 0, and 4 minus 0 is 4. Now simplify that, 0 divided by 4 equals 0. So the slope is 0. And if you remember, if the slope is 0, that's a horizontal line. The y-intercept is the value of y when x equals 0. Did they give us that information already? Yes. The coordinate 0, negative 2, where x is 0, y is negative 2, so b is the value of y, which is negative 2. Now that you found the slope and the y-intercept, substitute them in the equation. y equal m is 0 and b is negative 2. Simplify that. 0 times x is 0 plus negative 2, you end up with y equals negative 2. And that is a horizontal line crossing the y at negative 2. Now let's complicate the problem just a little because I love you and I want to show you how it's done. Write an equation of a line that passes through negative 2, 5 and 1, negative 1. Again, always the slope-intercept form is y equal mx plus b. Find m, which is the slope, find b, which is the y-intercept, and substitute it. To find the slope, I don't have a graph, so I will be using the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is the change in y divided by the change of x. For me to do that and substitute the numbers, let's name the coordinates. The first one is x1, y1. The second one is x2, y2. Now substitute the numbers. Negative 1 minus 5 over 1 minus negative 2 for the x1. Now negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6. And subtracting in negative is adding, so 1 plus 2 equals 3. Simplify that fraction, negative 6 divided by 3 equals negative 2. So I know this is a negative slope going down. Now I need to find the equation. How do I find b? They didn't give me x is 0. So how do I find the value of b? Write the equation, y equal mx plus b. Substitute what you know to find b. I already know what m is, which is the slope, so negative 2. Substitute that in the equation first. Now, use one of the coordinates to find b. They gave me two coordinates, negative 2, 5, and 1, negative 1. Use what's easy for you because they both work. They both should give you the same answer. I will use the 1, negative 1 just because it's easier numbers to deal with. Those are solutions to that equation, so they both should work. Remember that. y is negative 1 x is 1, and the slope is negative 2, plus b. Now I substituted everything I know. All what's missing is the b. Use the addition property of equality. By adding 2 to both sides, you end up with b equals 1. Now substitute the b in the equation and the m. You end up with y equals negative 2x plus 1. And that's the equation of a line that passes through those two coordinates. So now before we write equations in slope intercept form from word problems, let's review which word will indicate a slope and which word will indicate a y-intercept. Which word would help me to decide is this a rate of change or is this a starting point? The word per, every, and each shows a rate. So that is the slope. The words initial, starting, or beginning shows the starting value, so all these words indicate the y-intercept. Now let's practice with real life application. A recording studio charges the musicians an initial fee of $50 to record an album. Studio time costs an additional $75 per hour. Write a linear model that represents the total cost of recording an album as a function of studio time. So let's look for the clues to write the equation, which is the linear function. 
The clue number one, is there any word indicates the starting value? Yes. Initial. Initial fee is $50. So B equals 50, which is the Y intercept. Is there any word indicates the rate of change? Yes, the word per. So $75 per hour means the slope M is $75. It shows the ratio between the cost and the number of hours per one hour. So the equation Y equal MX plus B, substitute M with 75, substitute P with 50, you end up with Y equals 75X plus 50. Now let's use that equation to answer different questions. Is it less expensive to purchase 12 hours of recording time at the studio or a $750 music software program that you can use to record on your own computer? So which one is cheaper? going to the studio or buying your own software for $750. Since you wrote the equation and you know X represents the number of hours, substitute 12 for X, and that gives you 900 plus 50, so the cost for the 12 hours is $950. So which one is cheaper? Buying the software would be cheaper because it only costs you $750. If you go to the studio 12 hours, it will cost you $900. Let's answer one more word problem. The graph shows the distance remaining to complete a tunnel. Here's the graph. The distance is in feet, which is the Y. The time is in month, which is the X axis. Watch how the line is going down, which means that the distance remaining to complete the tunnel is going down per month. But how much is it going down per month? And that's the slope. We need to find that first. Write an equation that represents the distance Y in feet remaining after X months. Always the equation in slope intercept form is y equal mx plus b. Find m, which is the slope. Find b, which is the starting value. To find the slope, choose two dots on the line, and they already have the first one, x1, y1, the second one, x2, y2. Substitute them in the equation. You end up with 1,500 minus 3,500 divided by the change in x, which is 4 minus 0. Negative 2,000 divided by 4, simplify that, gives you the slope, which is negative 500. What does this negative 500 mean? In the content of the problem, it means that the distance remaining will decrease. That's what the negative means. The distance will decrease 500 feet per month. Now, B is where the line crossed the y-axis or the value of y when x equals 0. On the graph, they gave us both. Watch how the blue line crossed the Y at 3,500. So 3,500 is the B, which means the length of the tunnel is 3,500. Then they started to, distance started to decrease 500 feet per month. Now write the equation by substituting the slope of negative 500 in the Y intercept of 3,500. Now let's answer this question. How much time does it take to complete the tunnel? If you look at the x-axis, that's the time when the distance to complete the tunnel is zero. So looking at the graph, it takes seven hours to complete the tunnel, which is the x-intercept. Now let's write a linear function for the f of zero equal two and f of five equals six. If you remember, the number inside the parentheses in front of the f, that's the x value, and the f of x or the f of 0 equals 2, the 2 is the y value. So let's write those coordinates to understand how to find the slope and the y-intercept to write the equation. The first one would be use the x which is 0 and the y is 2. The second one, the x is 5 and the y is 6. Name, the, name them x1, y1. Name the second one x2, y2. To write the equation in slope-intercept form, it's y equal mx plus b, find the slope, find the y-intercept. So the equation for the slope is the change in y divided by the change of x, substitute the numbers, and you get 4 fifth. So the slope is 4 fifth. b is the value of y when x equals 0. So they gave me that, it's 0, 2. y is 2 when x equals 0, so b equals 2. Now write the equation and substitute the numbers, y equals 4 fifth x plus 2, that's how you write a linear function in a slope-intercept form. That's it for today's lesson. Thank you for watching.